What's going on guys? Funko Asian here and I'm back with a new video for this weekend. Um, here I have a huge mail call uh, pre-orders and pickups for this week. I was super excited to get these. I wanted to do one big video instead of two. So here we have the uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, Wave 2. Uh, so we have Lee, Aqua, Sora, and Kari. I also picked up the Super Saiyan God Goku from the Hot Top Exclusive. The new Waving Pikachu came out as well this weekend. Uh, and then in the mail call, I picked up the Batman Beyond uh, Blu-ray Complete Series, as well as the Batman Catwoman uh, moment from GameStop. So I'm super excited to open these up. I can't wait to see what they look like from outside the box, and I can't wait, and let's do it. So the first one we have here is Kari. So you can see the back here, the original four set here that we have. Um, there's actually th three other exclusives to, th to this set. So we have Lee with the Keyblade, that'll be Hot Topic exclusive. Uh, Aqua will be Dark Aqua from Box Lunch, and then a specialty games for Kari with the Keyblade. Uh, the specialty games one is gonna be hard to get. I normally don't have any good uh, area to pick them up, so hopefully I can pick, them at, pick that somewhere. Uh, but the Hot Topic Box Lunch should be too hard, so I'll get those as soon as I can. Okay, so this is Kari. This is more different than the other Kari that we had originally that uh, came out in the set. Um, so you can see here she's got the pink attire, uh, a lot of buttons there, and then the uh, star. Uh, not spoiling the game. Uh, that's really uh, unique there at the end uh, with, the, uh, with the Sora and Kari uh, moment. So I won't, I won't uh, say anything there. Uh, you have the black boots here. The hair looks pretty good. Um, and yeah, so this is a good rep representation of Kari here. And she comes with a base. Uh, next we'll go with Lee. So this is Lee in his organization uh, attire with the black robe and the chains. The hair looks really phenomenal. It looks really nice on him. Uh, really, really looks really cool. I believe this is the only pop figure of Lee. Um, so I think this is a good, really good one. I can't wait for the Keyblade version for the Hot Top exclusive to come out. That'd be really cool. Um, he's got his hands come out right there. His feet is pretty cool. Uh, and all in all, this is a nice piece. I do like his hair. That's the thing that stands out. It's really good detail here at the back here. So, and it comes with a base as well. Next we'll go with Sora with the ultimate weapon. Okay, so here's one of my favorite uh, characters in Kingdom Hearts 3 is Sora. Uh, so he's got the nice Kingdom Hearts 3 attire. Uh, the hairstyle looks pretty cool. Now, remember in my previous videos with the other Soras that you picked up, um, you can tell that all their hairstyles are different. Um, and here he has the Ultimate Keyblade. So the Ultimate Keyblade is really cool. Let's get it detailed right here. Uh, you can see it's very nicely detailed, well, well colored. Um, if you guys don't know, this is the Ultimate Keyblade in the game to complete all the... Uh, like side missions, side quests, and all the ingredients to build the Keyblade. It's super powerful. It knocks out mostly anything. Uh, the power is really cool. Um, and uh, you should try to get that if you can. So this is Sora. Last, we'll go with Aqua. So this is Aqua. Uh, she does have her own Keyblade here, which is really nice. Uh, the other one, Box Lunch, is Dark Aqua, so you'll probably get that. She's got glowing eyes, uh, so it'll be pretty cool to see there. Um, so her attire is really cool. It's really nicely painted. Uh, the sculpt is pretty nice. I do like that. The hairstyle is right on point. 
and then the attire is really cool and the keyblade itself it looks pretty nice too so uh, all in all I like this piece and I can't wait to get the box lunch exclusive one Next we'll go with the uh, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Super Saiyan Go Goku, sorry, the Hot Topic exclusive, which is really cool. Hope you guys were able to get that. So let's take a look at Goku here. So obviously this is his fighter pose. Uh, it looks like he was in the heat of battle because, you know, his orange shirt got torn off, so he's only wearing the blue layer there. Um, you got the Super Saiyan God mode here with the hair, which is really nice. And, um, yeah, you kind of like this huge, this nice fighter position here that he's got. So this is a different version of him. Um, so for all you guys who haven't gotten picked up a Super Saiyan God Goku, now's your chance at Hot Topic. Next we'll go with a new addition to the Pokemon is a uh, Pikachu. So this is the waving Pikachu. You can see here, hence why he's waving. Um, we already have two versions of Pikachu. We have the six inch version and the 10 inch version. Um, so I had to get this one as well. It looks like I got some paint mark here from the manufacturing, which is kind of too bad, but that's okay. Uh, the hair, the ears look pretty cute right there, and then you see that smile face. I think this one's kind of my favorite one out of the Pikachu. So at least this one has got a pose to it. Um, I'll, I just remember, guys, Black Friday, uh, the 10 inch Eevee will be coming out on Target. So hopefully, you guys, we were able to get that. Uh, just to remind you guys. Um, but yep, so all you have here is uh, the waving Pikachu. Uh, this pop is pretty cool, only with the uh, misprint here of the manufacturer, which is okay. It's not too bad. And this one actually comes with a base. Oh, looks like I can't really get this one on. There we go. Next, we'll go with the uh, Batman Beyond Complete Series. Now, the reason why I got this is it comes with the metallic uh, Batman Beyond pop uh, for the 80 years, and as well as I love the Batman Beyond series, and I didn't, I don't have the DVD set, so it was just a win-win for both uh, the reason why I got it. Blu-ray, Complete Series, so uh, let's open this up and see what it looks like. Alright, let's start with the DVD box here. So here's the DVD box. Oh, this is cool. I forgot that these come with uh, some cool uh, graphic design cards. Uh, I wonder how many are there. So we have this one here. Uh, this is Bat, obviously Terry. Uh, versus, I, f I don't, I forgot his name, but he does a lot of like hallucinogens and uh, forgot his name. But oh, it's one of the, the there. Oh, this is cool. This is uh, Terry with the uh, Joker. So the Joker gang, not really the Joker. It's a different one, um, but it's got that nice after effect there. I remember this one. This one's like uh, the Cobra Khan or Cobra Kai, but not Cobra Kai. Sorry, that's Karate Kid. Um, but he's fighting here and then obviously this one is the hunter uh, that uh, tries to hunt down the Batman so you can see here he's got that nice effect right there next we have the uh, DVD set which is really cool oh it's got this cool fold disc here so it's pretty nice Ooh, looks like my disc is about to come out let me put that back in Oh, I guess one thing for sure is always check the packaging because the discs are falling out. So we'll uh, we'll just put these in here. So it looks like it has the entire series as well as the Batman Beyond uh, Return of Joker movie, which is pretty cool. So this is a nice uh, collection piece here. And then we'll just put this back in. Next, we'll go with the uh, Funko Pop. So here is a new addition to the Batman collection of mine, the 80th version. 
Um, so here we have the Deluxe Limited Edition Batman Metallic. Huh. I really don't want to break the box, but it seems like it's really hard to open. There we go. All right, so this is Terry McGinnis. Um, you can see he's really metallic, really shiny. You can actually see my setup right on the reflection there. <laughs> um, so here we have the utility belt, the red insignia for Batman. Uh, he's got the uh, cool armor, nice uh, posture here stance. And another really cool feature that I see here is they do have the mouth uh, showing there. So it uh, looks like Funko starting to get a little more detail in their faces here because you can see the eye uh, expression there and the mouth there. So this is a pretty cool piece. And to continue on for the Batmans, we have the Catwoman and Batman moment. Uh, so let's open him up or them up. Okay, so I'm not familiar with this piece. I just thought it would look really cool. So I'll just go with my first initial observation of this pop. So it looks like this is Batman, Catwoman, and looks like she's surrounded in thorns and vines. And it looks like Batman is just like above her. And it looks like he's controlling the vines. So this may be another comic series, another moment that I'm not sure of. Comment below, guys. Let me know if you know anything about this piece. But I just picked it up because it looked really nice. Um, you can see here, you can see the distance and space between Batman and Catwoman, uh, which is really cool. It's a nice there. The thorns are very good detailed, as you can see, and the expression on her face is pretty cool. It shows, like, fear. And then, you know, obviously Batman here is really serious. And I do think it's weird that the Batman's face is all blacked out, so maybe it's just trying to show, like, a shadow effect on her. Um, but this is a pretty cool piece there. So that was my huge, long week of collection of Funko Pops here. I'm really excited to have these part of my collection. Um, like I said, subscribe, comment, let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys next week for another video.